does my child really have autism? I think this is a question that so many parents find just so difficult, um, you know, and are so afraid to ask. And um, because I suppose their concerns with a, a diagnosis like that, what the long term implications may be. Um, and, and just to say that I work with so many children who have autism and they are doing so well and there's so much that we can do um, when a child truly has autism. So that, that's one piece and I'm going to do another video on that. But in relation to the does my child really have autism, I think, you know, I see, I see so many children here. I mean, I would say at least 50% of the children that I see here who come with a diagnosis of autism or a tentative diagnosis of autism do not have autism. And there's no two ways about that. And um, I know after 20 years of experience of working with children with complex communication needs, not only how to look at a child, you know, and this very much comes back to my model and my approach, you're looking at the pieces of the jigsaw. And I very much, you know, spoke about the pieces of the jigsaw in my second introductory video. So it may be worth having a little look back at that again. But that when you look at all the pieces of the jigsaw, it becomes much clearer as to whether the child really has autism or whether it's something like what we call a pseudo autism or is very similar to autism in terms of its presentation, but actually maybe requires quite different treatment, different treatment approaches. So it's important for us to, I, I, I think for child development experts, it's really important for us to understand uh, how to look at children with autism.